Hey everyone, it seems like Offensive Security decided to change the way we are supposed to be getting our 10 free bonus points and we are about to take a look into what these new changes are all about so let's just get started let me just first say that this was published today so this is very uh, recent news so keep that in mind and what I'm about to do is just show you uh, the most important part of this uh, announcement now you can read this through and take your time but let me just show you uh, the main takeaways shall we so the first thing is that this was the previous way uh, we were supposed uh, to get our 10 free bonus points so you should write a report of all the legacy exercise solutions and then we were also supposed to write a report of at least 10 pen 200 lab machines and four of those had to be related to an active directory uh, subset since the last changes um, regarding the OSCP now a new way to receive bonus points and this is very interesting so let me just zoom this now I think this is cool yeah, yeah this is cool so starting today on August 3rd 2022 the following criteria will be accepted for bonus points so let's just see so first, students must have 80% correct solutions submitted for the Pen 100 topic exercises for each topic. So the course um, book or the course materials have a lot of topics and it seems like as long as you have at least 80% of those exercises submitted on the their platform you should be good now there's another thing so secondly students must also submit the proof.txt of at least 30 pen 200 lab machines so what i get by these changes is that they are really pushing us as students to focus on their course materials and that lets me to believe or leads me to believe that they are trying to make a statement saying that, okay, our course materials are the best way to get prepared for this particular exam. And I know that a lot of people choose another course materials, um, sorry, a, a lot of people choose another um, resources to get prepared for this exam, like other Udemy courses, um, machines on Actabox and stuff like that. And all those resources are great. Uh, but it seems like offensive security is making a statement saying okay just focus on these things and things should be good now there's no need to submit a lab report and no more restrictions on which machines can and cannot be included this is great this means that the only deliverable on the day after your exam is a traditional exam report so after you do your exam you just have to submit your exam report and they will automatically see if you're in the position to receive the 10 bonus points by seeing your student profile and checking if you submitted uh, at least the three proof.txt uh, flags for the lab machines and also the correct percentage uh, for the exercises uh, within each topic. Now, the interesting part is um, between August 3rd, 2022, so today, and January 31st on 2023, so six months by now, students will be able to use either method for achieving bonus points. And this is great. So I just published my um, lab report template like two weeks ago, I think. So if you're still uh, trying to use it or if you want to use it, you can do so until January 31st, 2023. Um, so you can choose between the two, the two methods and there shouldn't be a problem there. Now, after January 31st, 2023, Offensive Security will only allocate bonus points as per the new exam requirements. Now, I left this final point to read it with you guys because I'm really interested to see what are their visions regarding the benefits of this new system, of this new way of getting the 10 bonus points. Now for me, I still believe that being able to write a good report is essential uh, in case you want to be a penetration tester, but you already have to do it uh, in your exam report. So I really think this is a good change because as they say here, and I'm reading it right now, 
First, it's much simpler. We are hoping that this new system will allow students to spend less time on administrative issues and more time hacking away the labs. Yeah, because everything is automatic. I'm kind of seeing this as a try hack me approach. So you have questions and you have to provide an answer. So you go, you hack, you do your thing, whatever. And then you provide a proof or a flag or something that says, okay, I've done this. So yeah, let me just put this right here click on the submit and get like correct answer. So go ahead and go hack and do the other exercises. You're good to go. Um, that's much simpler than having to do like a lab report. And I know these lab reports used to be like 400 pages, 500 pages. My lab report, I was, um, I was about to finish it, but I, I think it had around 300 pages or something like that, something crazy. And this will save a lot of time, not only for you, uh, let's say you have 30 days to complete the labs and go through the course exercises, of course this will save you time, but remember, there is someone on the other side working for offensive security that has to go through all your lab reports and your exam reports as well, so think about it. Um, if you submit your lab report and that report is 400 pages, and then you also have to submit your exam report, I think that is that should be the reason why sometimes it takes a little bit of time to offensive security to give us our exam results. And now that should be a bit faster because they don't really have to go through it anymore. They can just check your uh, student profile on their platform and see, okay, this student is in a position to receive the 10 free bonus points because he did all the criteria uh, we established for that. So yeah. Now, the best way to learn is hands-on lab work that approaches real-life scenarios. I agree. We believe that topic exercises provide a better approach to achieve learning objectives compared to the legacy exercises. Well, I'm not sure about this one because I I have to be honest, I didn't went that deeply into this new way of doing the exercises because I had to take a pause on my OSCP journey because I just moved to another country and yeah, everything is still uh, very dynamic, let's say. <laughs> Um, and so I still have to take my time and analyze that to have a, a good opinion on that. And lastly, frankly, many students would submit extreme amounts of output text in their exercise and lab reports. Yeah, that's what I was just saying. We're hoping to save both our students and our student mentors time by creating a much more objective and automatic system. Yeah, I agree with this. Yeah. This will allow you to not only save time for the labs, but also provide our student mentor team more time to assist you on Discord and work on other helpful projects. I totally agree. Uh, we are continually striving to improve the way that our students interact with course material and labs, and we hope that the new bonus point requirements will provide a more streamlined, pleasant and effective learning experience. Please feel free to reach out on Discord with any feedback, questions or concerns. That's amazing. So they are willing to receive feedback from the community that's that's cool um from what i'm seeing right now just uh, i just finished reading this so i got the notification and i just saw the announcement on offensive securities discord and i was like okay so i have to check this out and let me just give like my first impressions on it and then i'll read it carefully and like analyze it and stuff but right off the bat i i think this is a, a good change you can still do the report if you'd like to you just don't have to submit it and this new way of doing things is actually going to save you a lot of time and also save a lot of time for the offensive security staff so yeah i think uh we both win in that regard there are a lot of facts here as well that i still have to read and yeah that's basically it so let me know what you think about these new changes um i wish you the best of luck on your oscp journey if you need any help or if you would like to um discuss some topics regarding the oscp and other cybersecurity and pen testing stuff make sure you up on discord server um we would love to have you there and you can also leave a comment if you want to discuss these things further below. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.